Hello, and thank you for joining me on today's video blog. I'm Stephen Pilkington with the Path Home team of Compass Real Estate, and today we're going to discuss what do you do during the season ending holidays for your clients? So we're at that time of year where Thanksgiving is just around the corner, and then we get into the December holidays, um, into Christmas, into Hanukkah, and uh, what do you do to show appreciation to your clients? Now, uh, I'm a big believer in, um, in giving back and making sure to express gratitude um, for the opportunity to help people buy, sell, and invest real estate. Um, a few things that we've done before in the past, and again, it's totally up to your discretion on uh, how you wanna go about it. Uh, it can go as simple as a phone call or a text message to sending a funny emoji. Um, we had a great response one year when we sent one of those funny jingle, jingle, carol um, uh, video texts where it, we put the different faces of the team members on and some were like little elves and some look like reindeer. Um, something that makes people laugh. Um, something that has worked really well. Also, it might be a little late in the season to do this is the pie giveaway. We went to every one of our clients who's bought, sold, invested, or referred us a client. And when I say referred someone a client, they don't have to close on it. I wanna say thank you just for referring us an opportunity. Um, and so if they referred us a client and we never even got an at bat because they said, I handed your information off to a friend. Uh, of course, we always wanna train them that the best thing to do is to hand our information off that friend, but also hand us the friend's information so we can at least make a soft introduction. Um, but we wanna invite all those folks out and give them a pie. And a great way to do that, we just go to Costco or Sam's Club and uh, do bulk pie orders, send out the invite in advance and, uh, and see what uh, people will respond. It's amazing how many people will sign up for a free pie. If you want to provide a very high level of service, but it does take time, then you can go ahead and deliver those pies to people's houses. Um, that is also a great way where you can just surprise people, ask them uh, what they're doing for the holidays, if they're going to be around the week of Thanksgiving, and then go drop off the pies. Um, if you're like me and your clientele are spread all across the metro area, that can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, so oftentimes we will have people come in to us. Um, it doesn't. It can be very COVID compliant. You can just straight up hand them a pie, uh, thank them for coming. We've done it before where we actually have some wine and some mold cider and some appetizers um, to be a little bit more of an open house style uh, fun event uh, to hang out, have a little time. Uh, again, just express gratitude to your clients. Um, and then coming into the holidays, there's lots of things you can do. Um, a big, I'm a big believer moving forward of doing stuff where it's fundraising for a cause. One of the last causes that we worked to support was the, um, uh, the Volunteers of America the local chapter here in Denver and uh, because at the time they were putting together a house in Sloan's Lake for single veteran moms and anytime that we can support um, the community from a housing perspective anytime we can support our veterans anytime that we can support single parents um, it seems like an amazing opportunity to partner that with hosting an event for your clients raising money from vendors. There's lots of different creative ways you can do that, which if you ever want to talk about that, please just reach out. I'm happy to chat about it and uh, go over what we've done and just some of the things that I've heard about other people doing. Um, so kind of a ramble there, but I hope you got some value out of uh, what can you do to reach out to your clients um, and express gratitude for the holidays. Um, until the next time, if there's anything you want to hear uh, my opinion on, uh, things that we've worked on, please comment, uh, message me. Happy to, uh, to discuss it on the next video blog. And stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video blog.